Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Missy Wolf, and I'm back at CRS 2018 with Casey Donahue. How yeah, are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm good. It's been a while since we've talked at CMA Fest. I know. It seems like a lifetime ago, but I don't think it was. No, no, but it, it did go by pretty fast, actually. I know. I mean, it just seems yeah. like it was yesterday. Yeah, the years are years get going faster, like running downhill a little quicker. You can't slow it down. They do, and you've had a lot going on in between now and then. So tell me about it. Tell, tell us. Yeah, uh, been busy. You know, we just constantly touring. I guess is the is the main thing. And you know, nowadays we travel so, na you know, national. You know, we're east to west and California to North Dakota to you know home in Texas and. Uh, and so uh, we stay busy doing that. We got a new single that just uh, debuted at number 60 this week, first week out. And so that's that's Exciting. that's good for us, I guess. Yeah. We could have been 61, but we were 60. So <laughs> right, right. that's a, that's the that's the bright spot. Uh, and uh, you know, writing songs, trying to trying to get ready to do a new record. It's it's getting close to time. So uh, writing songs and uh, you know, uh, working on music. Yeah, so working on new projects is always fun. I love uh, I love the challenge, you know. Always trying to trying to make good records, you know. I don't want to make throwaway records, I don't, you know. And it's I want to make records people listen to from from front to back, and and really, you know, I want there to be controversy over which one of the best songs is. So it's. Uh, so have you taken a different approach? Are you going to take a different approach with the new record versus your last one? Or? You know, I don't. I don't know how to make music any other way than uh, than the Casey Donahue songs. That's the only songs I know how to write. So. Uh, you know, like I've said since the beginning, hopefully you just get better at it as you go. And, uh, you know, I, I don't see myself ever changing drastically what I do or the sound that that, that I've created. I think that would be a, a mistake and, and not something I don't want to do. Right. Well, and I ask that because when I have a, an artist who's so genuine and who, you know, does does things his way or her way, Sometimes people want. Sometimes people want. I always forget to move my mic. Yeah. Sorry. Sometimes people want to. They, they think that if they approach it a different way, or they need to change themselves for someone else, and then they don't end up making the music that they want to make. That's why I wanted to ask you that because I know from last time talking to you, you know, you like doing things your way. And oh, a hundred percent. I think it's you know, if if someone ever asks me, I'll always lean on the side of do not change what you do I think it's a mistake to try to appease other people with your music you know what I mean take care of your fans they've always been there for you so when you start drifting away from what made them fans then you upset them and then it usually never works out for the fans you're trying to go after with with your new sound you know I'm this is me. I, I write songs that I write, and I'm gonna keep doing cowboy music because I'm telling you, it's gonna come back. I'm bringing, we're gonna, we're bringing cowboy back. It's gonna happen. <laughs> Absolutely, it's gonna happen. So, so let's talk about Texas. Texas is your home, right? Yes, ma'am. So, you guys had a lot of interesting and natural disaster stuff happen in Texas. Were you affected by that at all? Not, uh, not real personal. It wasn't close to me, anything uh, specific. But uh, you know, we did a lot of, uh, we did all we could to try to help down in Houston. We had a lot of friends that were displaced, and and it was uh, something like we've never seen. I mean, we were we were doing collections at shows, and then my wife was actually hauling truckloads of uh, of goods and uh, things down to uh, down to the coast, and so it's been uh, it's been a wild year in that regard as well so it's uh you know what's great about texas though is that uh you know it's not like you have to ask texans to help man they just that's just part of the game they load up and, and go to work so it was great and that's everything that i've experienced with everybody i've ever met in texas i have friends out there and every time i go out and stay with them it's just it's just a different world and it's it's really nice to see them stick together but tennesseans stick together too yeah, like it's, you know, i think everybody it's says everyone loves where they live and uh you know that's that's a, that state pride is a is, is a huge thing and uh, uh, you know you should be proud of where you're from so it's a, it's a beautiful thing all right well where can fans find you so that they can help support your music and help you bring cowboy back uh, you know you can go to caseydonahue.com that gets you all the tour dates all the info uh, on the band where we're going to be what we're doing and uh, that'll get you all of the the links to all the social medias the facebooks the uh, FaceTimes, the <laughs> MySpaces, right. all the uh, platforms that I love. I know. I'm so glad you said MySpace because I, I still have my MySpace. Um, it was a better world when MySpace was relevant. You know what? It was. Write and that down. It was. Just listen to him because he's telling you the truth. And with that, 
we're just going to have to see you later. We'll see you on MySpace. Until next time, guys. MySpace. <laughs> hey, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in to our interview here at CRS 2018. Be sure to like us on social media, follow us, share us with your friends, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. Thank you so much. We'll see you soon.